Hey y'all, Oracle Scarlet Dragon Star here with an energy read for Pisces. So if you have Pisces anywhere in your chart, this reading is for you. Especially if it um, you have quite a bit of Pisces energy in your chart. I uh, hope you check that out and you know your moon sign, your Mars sign, your Jupiter sign, your Lilith sign. There's tons of different ones. Um, it's your star birth chart. So you can get, pull it up for free on um, by looking up astrology birth chart. Um, it'll really help you out. So Pisces... We have you over here, it seems crushed, been very sad, broken, feeling lonely, um, just feeling like something's missing, being by yourself. We also have that connected to, what is this one again? I want to say Starseed. Warrior of the universe, path, purpose, high vibration, star seed, past lives, knowledge. So, you got to remember that you're on your path, that you have a purpose, and remember to stay connected to your higher self. You have a star seed mission. Okay might feel like you're in it alone but you're not get connected with people that are like you we also have you dealing with the karmic situation so a third party situation um, third party relationship or some type of karmic lesson um, so that means there could be someone intervening in your relationship with your lover or something could be intervening um, as like a karmic lesson in your relationship. We have you recalling, reminiscing, memories, returning on happiness. Um... We have the Divine Feminine Energy out with retaliation, punishment, payback, or revenge. So someone felt the need to, either the Divine Feminine felt the need to retaliate, or someone felt the need to retaliate to the Divine Feminine um, because they are obsessed. Um, they're very obsessed with either you or them um, very possessive controlling um, feels like there's nothing else in life uh, just uh, very very obsessed just um, what is that possessive We have what it looks like is someone walking in on someone, being with someone else. Um, there's a quite a show for many people. Um, oh, it, it looks like a lot of people found out about a third party situation. That's what I'm picking up on. We have someone, I believe, wishing upon a star wanting guidance um, calling in their spirit guides oh the sky in the city I believe that you have some spirit guides from the sky in the city that is um, connecting with you and trying to show you something um, we have emotions calm after the storm truth and clarity rest in a relationship vision and new journey spiritual guidance and new ideas happiness and light okay 
so there's going to be calmness after the storm. We also have, it looks like someone's having sleep paralysis. Um, which also, I believe, is like some type of entity attachment going on. Um... We have masterpiece, ideas come into life, creativity, victory, success, building, timing, slow sculpture. And I also feel like you are becoming more of a diamond over time. We have you standing in your strength and your courage and facing fear, fighting, um, and becoming more of your true self, more of your authentic self. Standing in your identity, um, standing in your either goddess energy, divine feminine energy, self-love, healing self, healing emotions, cleansing, high vibration, beauty. And I feel like you have some dragon guides around you as well. We have Medea Deception here. And not, and not, come on, let me think. <laughs> I net, and then, uh, seduction, arnimentia, integrity. Okay, this is what you need to let go of. So this is kind of like what's going on with you spiritually and what you need to let go of. Oh, what a tangle web we weave. When first we practice to deceive. Should sound a little chilling now. All may look calm and serene from where you are standing, but wait till the truth comes out, and it will. For then it will be too late for clever words, trickery, and playing the blame game. No one is immune to telling the odd fib or two. However, when life is built on deception and fabrication, well, that's another thing entirely. You must be honest with yourself first and foremost. Then look in look then look to unravel the web and face the music. Medea comes to you now as a warning, her back turned to you to hide her grief, shame, and horror of what a life built on half truths and smoke and mirrors has led to. Do you really want to run the risk of being left isolated forever staring in the abyss at what might have been? Uh -uh. So it's saying you have the wool pulled over your eyes. Honesty will be the best policy when applying for a new job or just period speaking up even if you think you're alone and others will support you. Be through, through with paperwork. Sign nothing until you're absolutely sure. Okay. And we have seduction. It says, careful for you are about to be swept away. An offer seems too good to be true. Remember that everybody has free will. Don't be coerced into anything. Be strong and stand your ground. Be truthful, consistent, and assertive. Use your captivating ways for the highest good. Okay? And integrity. <clears throat> Replace your critical thoughts with positive statements. Don't just accept the first offer. Use your integrity when making decisions. Speak in a loving and supportive way to yourself. You are your own worst critic. See beauty in everything around you. Spend time by a stream or a river. Okay, it says you seem to lost yourself within dark of the woods and no longer can see the light. Lost sight of your integrity as you fight to survive in it. Your inner critic is doing a great job of destroying what little hope you have left. You need to remember that there is nothing good or right, bad, right or wrong through the eyes of our meta. Remember it's this type of thinking that causes problems. Hold a light in the darkness so you can see your way out of the woods to the place of integrity. Here she will ensure that you remain in a place of honesty, truth, and ethics and integrity leads the way. So make sure you stand in truth. That is very important. 